Ian Charleston runs for his god. Chariots of Fire When a Jewish man joins Cambridge University, he is shunned by the staff until he sets new records running at the school. Oh my god, is there nothing you people can't do? I mean, you, you know, other than manual labor. Peter, what a ridiculous thing to say. They built the pyramids. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Peter, he can be a little tactless sometimes. Then loses a race to a Scotsman, prompting him to take on a coach, against the wishes of faculty. And before his mysterious death, he taught me everything he knew. But some things I had to learn myself. I learned that money is fine, but in the end, what counts is people. People you love. You can't put a price on that. Then they are chosen for the Olympics, where Scotsman refuses to run. Arthur, you're making the other accountants nervous. We all find this kind of rampant individuality very disturbing. Only to swap with another athlete, which he ends up winning. Remove the stone of shame. Catch the stone of triumph! Oh. <laughs> Worth watching for Ian Holm. When the right girl comes along, I wouldn't fail if she pops a question. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> you see this red rug? Like the brain drum. It's a coach that should do the asking. Eric Little. Well, you know all about him. Look at them, think them, breathe them. I want their faces leering at you every time you shut your eyes. Now, do you know why you lost the other day? Because you're overstriding. Just a couple of inches. Oh. These coins represent the strides in your hundred meters. Go out determined to do your best. And don't forget, drop down at the first stride. Get well warmed up, and then let the gun release you. P.S. Please accept the charm. My old father swore by it. 